returned to no madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing after wind. For in much wisdom is much grief. Let he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. me into that thing animus it's an animus i don't even know you people why are you doing this to me you have information we need mr miles information i'm a bartender for christ's sakes what do you want me to do teach you how to mix a martini we know who you are what you are i don't know what you're talking about don't play coy with me there isn't time you're an assassin and whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. A wise decision. Whoa. Where am I? You're inside the Animus. Which is... It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory? Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory? Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. 
That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Wait! There must be another way. This one need not die. An excellent skill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task. Only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy, and here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me.
We're not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? Altair, you've returned. Raouf, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, uh, buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. Why would he do that? He returns at last. Abbas, where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of a sin. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later, brother. 
is going to run into someone. It is an honor. The master waits within. What's he running from? Altair, Master. Come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak! Not another word! This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go and... No! You do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No! Not dead. Malik? I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the room. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here. Take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master! We are under attack! Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. It's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most. But not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish.
recent one. Atayer, come! Al Mualim's not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We've a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. Have you gone mad? When will what you stop the acting like a fool? Stand on that platform, Atai. Heretic! Return what you have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Your village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly endless! How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. Good! Then they shall have it all around! Follow me, and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear! Go to God! Stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The ropes there will bring you to a trap we've set. Go and release it. Bring death upon our enemies. Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me, do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair? All of this would have been avoided. 
I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue, unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenet, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet, the worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. <laughs> He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? 